glass recycling in Lee was difficult. We had limited places to get rid of it. Most of it ended up going in the uh, regular MSW when it increased the weight on the trash. What led us to using PGA was cost. We pay by the ton for our, it goes to a single stream facility. So it's 30 to 40 percent of the cost of the processing and, and shipping and, and pickup fees. So it was either that it went into the actual waste stream itself, or you had to pay for the disposal of the glasses in uh, getting rid of it. So, and environmentally, we wanted to try to work to make things better. Process glass aggregate is PGA. Um, basically, it's whole bottles crushed down to a usable material for road use in our case. So we take glass, we'll load that up after it's weighed, put it on a truck, and we'll haul it down to our site until we get a large amount and then we have somebody come in, take the glass and actually load it into a machine, a crusher, and crush it down to what is called the PGA, process glass aggregate. The uh, crusher gets uh, rolling, the loader will go over and get approximately a ton, ton and a half, maybe a little bit more, and dumps that in the hopper. Every once in a while, there'll be an undesirable in a pile. We just try to pull it out, and if we don't, then there's hydraulic mechanisms in there that allow that not to cause an issue. Generally, we make about a half inch minus size material. Through the grinder, it almost polishes up the edges, so you can take a handful of that stuff and put it in your hand and go like this, and you won't get cut. By using PGA, Basically, what I see is one, we're reusing a material that, um, so it's recycling. The other benefit is there's good qualities in glass for drainage and other things like that. It's, it's basically like using a stone and allows water to filtrate through it and uh, move with ease. So it's a great drainage material. There was some studies done by the uh, Coal Regions Lab, which is the Corps of Engineers, which is located in Hanover. Um, back, um, I think it was in the late 80s or 90s, um, where they looked at um, substituting processed glass for sand. Um, and they, they looked at it and how much it heaved with frost and found that it actually was a, a, a good substitute. It, it doesn't absorb moisture like gravels do. It doesn't hold, retain the moisture. So it, you put it in place and it actually packs and stays and drains really well. It doesn't retain water. Uh, so in the good old North Country, we have freeze and thaw. Uh, you don't get as much, um, certainly, uh, freeze and thaw application that goes along with it. So I, I find that it works well. What we did on this road I'm standing on is we actually laid down about six inches of PGA. We're standing on a spot right now that was not very good for compaction. It stayed live. The glass mixed in with what was here actually firmed it up. Well, I, I think it, it grades easy, so, you know, something like uh, spreading butter on a slice of toast. It, it uh, the blade goes good on it and no problem. Yeah, it's great stuff to work with, it's nice. So in the communities that I've served, we've used it uh, basically for all of our drainage, um, as far as bedding, any drainage, pipe bedding. Um, we'd actually um, lay our parking lots, um, build it up, uh, with that material. So essentially we're not buying gravel, we're not buying stone, we're utilizing the glass and it's worked good for us over the years. On this one road we did which was roughly about 26, 27 years ago, um, we actually tried spreading it out six inches thick and paving right over the top of it. Uh, we haven't had any issues, haven't repaved it since. Or we just use it straight glass underneath concrete pads instead of three-quarter crushed gravel in the same with pipes instead of using stone under the pipe and then coming up with sand we just use all glass. The 100% glass has not heaved, it has not moved, and the pipes we've done it hasn't settled. We've got everything stayed where it's supposed to. So the concrete slabs, one of the concrete slabs they've done, they did with it over 10 years ago and it hasn't cracked yet. We did pull one sidewalk apart in a renovation job and we were able to actually see what it looked like, and it looked just the same as the day we put it down. 
Nobody's going to know when you're done that there's PGA there. We found the best way to do it is to try to keep it out of sight as much as possible. So you can store it the same way you do with sand and gravel. Nice thing about it is it, it does free drain, so it doesn't freeze in the wintertime the same way sand would do. Um, so if you had a pile in the spring, you wouldn't have these big chunks of frost that you have to move. There are many different types of applications, I believe. Um, in general civil engineering projects, and I'm talking about parking lots and roads and pipe bedding um, that are very applicable for this product. It's really just glass is basically sand. I mean, that's what it's made from silica based products. So there should be plenty of opportunities to reuse this product. And if you look at it, you've already paid for the extraction since glass is made from sand. So you've already paid that end once for it and now you're recycling it back to what it was before. I don't think we're making any new sand, right? To the extent that we can reuse a product that's already available to us, um, seems like the, the, there should be plenty of fits for that. It gets more and more difficult to actually find good um, aggregates to actually use. Um, some of our aggregates are getting very costly. Um, and this is a, another mechanism that you can use uh, for relatively low cost to be able to utilize a material and acquire a material that you can use for something that you would actually be paying you know, funds for. So I, I see it as a win-win situation to be able to use it um, as a recycled material. One of the benefits financially with PGA is you're taking the glass out of the waste stream, so there's a cost there. The savings on the other end would be as far as mixing it in with a crushed aggregate, you're stretching your, your dollar a little bit more. So there is a savings on both ends. I think PGA has a lot of benefits. Uh, I think if you can, like I said, broaden your horizon and think of using it before grabbing a load of stone or something like gravel, sand, whatever, try it. Um, I've done it. Uh, in, like I said, drainage projects and parking lots and shoulder gravel and even under road beds. So we have used it quite a bit. So um, it's definitely worthwhile. I personally, I like the product. I think it's, once again, it's, a, it's an environmental you know, aspect of things. You know, we're not wasting something. We're not burying it in a landfill um, and, and uh, we're reusing it. And I think it works very, very well and it's good to be able to use it back in the community that actually disposed of it.